To create a new reporting period, navigate to Academic Reports in the Assessment module. Previously created reporting periods will be listed here. If you're creating a reporting period for the first time, you will be prompted to create one. Before we go any further, it's worth mentioning here that rolling over a reporting period is essentially the same as creating a new reporting period. You'll see why towards the end of this video. Click on the link to create a new reporting period. In this example, we'll look at the elements of creating a new reporting period. The process is divided into five sections and you work through them sequentially. The Create New Reporting Period section allows you to set up some top-level details that apply to the period. These include the semester and year, the name of the reporting period, and the date to which it applies. Report style determines if it is a high school, primary school, or interim report. The curriculum and years deserve special attention. These act as filters for which students will be reported on. The default is to have all curriculum and years selected, but you can also choose specific years. This is going to be a K-6 report. Simply deselect the years and curriculum groups you don't wish to report on. This enables you to specifically target groups and years for each reporting period you wish to create. And to make this reporting period easier to find in a list of reporting periods, I'll also make this small change up here and add the word primary. In the next section, you can determine whether you will permit student self-assessment via the portal. Click to enable the feature. Note that if you select Yes for Overall Assessment and Individual Subject Assessment, you will need to select the years that will be allowed to participate in this. Moving further down, the Reporting Period Comment Default section allows you to control comment lengths. Note here there is the option to set a hard limit or a soft limit. A hard limit means that once the maximum character limit has been reached, the comment becomes cut off. No further text can be entered. A soft limit provides the user with a warning that the comment is becoming too long. Users can keep typing, but they'll probably be pulled up on that comment and asked to revise it. The Reporting Period Naming Default section allows you to specify some simple naming conventions. This is fairly straightforward. The Initial Setup section probably requires the most consideration. The first option is to roll over a report. This makes sense because you will most likely be rolling over previous reporting periods rather than creating everything from scratch again. The second option allows you to set up a reporting period with some common defaults. If you are creating your first reporting period, this option is recommended. The third option allows you to create a report from scratch where you enter all the details. Let's see what happens when we choose the second option to use some common defaults. The option expands, allowing you to see what will be created. Note the options will be configured for your state. Click Save. Depending on how big your school is, this might take a minute. Your new reporting period appears. To see your reporting period in the list of previous reporting periods, navigate to the General tab and click Reporting Periods. Notice that in this example, you can see that other reporting periods have been rolled over from previous reporting periods. You can see here that the reporting period we have just created has not been rolled over from another reporting period. To make changes to this reporting period, click Edit. An obvious edit we might wish to make straight away is the date for this reporting period. So let's try that. Simply use the Calendar feature to make the appropriate date range changes. Remember to click Save when you're done. And in fact, making that edit has now locked the reporting period to further edits. To unlock a reporting period, you'll need administrator access. To continue working in this reporting period, navigate to the Reporting menu and click on the Getting Started link. This will provide an overview of which information is OK and which sections need more attention. We'll talk more about that in the video on Getting Started. 